and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of the evening. So I need everyone to get up out of your seats, raise those drinks high, and get wild! Introducing first, fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, Michael Stagg! Michael Stagg in our main event of the evening. Pro MMA. Our one and only pro fight. It is the main event at 145 pounds. I follow Mr. Stack on Facebook. He was so excited about getting to main event this yeah. show. And man, it's a hallmark event for Sparta. So congratulations to Mr. Stack for literally years worth of work to get himself where he is tonight. Yeah, anytime that you're on a fight card, you get excited. but. When you see your name, co-main event, and then main event, it really gives you that extra pep in your step. Helps you know you've arrived. Yes, sir. Michael Stack out of Trials MMA. Such a great team, and just a room full of killers every day to get to train oh, yeah. with. We've talked about that, how uh, how important the training partners are and the people that you surround yourself with in order to get to this level. And that's exactly what Trials is doing for these guys. Brian the Lion Schultz, see him putting on the Vaseline there. Uh, former professional fighter himself. So, you know, your coach has been in there. He's done it. He's experienced it. He's lived it. Just, uh, just tough to beat that kind of experience. You know, we've seen one of the best 145-pounders up north here and Justin J. Train Gonzalez. He's in the house tonight. J. Train, choo-choo. <laughs> Stack is uh, stacked. For a 145-pounder, he's built. Well-conditioned. Yes. And his opponent, funny out Larry H. Miller, Nissan on 104th, blue corner, James. Martinez! Martinez on his way to the cage for the main event at Sparta 75. Checking out our tail of the tape, 24 years old and 5'10", is Mr. Stack. He has a professional record of 2 and 0 versus the elder Martinez wow. at 45, one inch shorter. Uh, his record, four wins, 12 losses. But there's an asterisk there. There's an asterisk. A little bit deceptive in the fact that Mr. Martinez has done a lot of fighting in Thailand that doesn't show up on his U.S. record. So um, my understanding is it's been a lot of Thai fights. Whether or not he's done much in the way of MMA over there, I don't know. But 4-12, and 12, not necessarily indicative of everything that he has done in the cage in the ring. Well, I'm telling you what, at 45, it looks great. <laughs> I mean, can I can I order that? If only I had been so fortunate in 45. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hey, like you said earlier, just a number, man, and it, it is a cliche, but it is so true. With athletes that take care of themselves and athletes that eat right and stay away from bad things, Jr. Yes, indeed. And we do see uh, Mr. Martinez wearing the Muay Thai trunks, so. Speak to his having to spend some time in Thailand. I'm sure he's got some bizarre stories <laughs> about fighting over there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event, brought to you by Saratoga Casino Blackhawk. And this is Sparta! Let's meet our fighters first! Fighting on the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Arvada, Colorado, representing Trials MMA, Michael Stack! And fighting on the Larry H. Miller Nissan on 104th Blue Corner from Tucum Carey, New Mexico, representing Elite Fight Team, James Martinez! 
gentlemen. Well, we've seen the older statesmen fight tonight, JR. All right, gentlemen, the main event of the evening. I expect a clean, fair fight. Listen to me at all times and protect yourself at all times. Let's touch gloves and get after it. Back to your corners. I think they're going to get after this. Stack is jacked. Main event time, 145 pound. Thanks for having joined us. Sparta, 75. Referee Tom Johnson, third in the cage. Stack wearing the black trunks. Martinez in the colorful Muay Thai trunks. You know, Martinez is going to be one of those targets that's tough to hit. You can tell already how relaxed Martinez is. He's nonplussed by the whole situation. Been in the ring a lot, as you stated. Front kick by Stack. Ooh, Martinez nice. with that leg, leg kick. kick. Heavy wow. leg kick. There's another. Two crushing kicks. Those fighters over there training against bamboo trees. Stack bringing it. See what Stack's able to do with pinning Mr. Martinez up against the cage. Martinez lifts a knee up for the block to shut down the knee striking attack of Stack. And Stack wraps it up looking for a takedown. Unable to run the pipe but tries to switch it off to a double. And I think that's where Stack has an advantage with his strength is up against the cage wow. and a big slam. And that was a really, I mean, a lot of technique to it, of course, but it was a strength-oriented move as well because I don't think he even had his hands clasped when he got that double leg. Trying to scramble, trying to get his knees underneath him. Good job by Martinez. Yeah, Martinez up and getting himself in a position where he can defend at least. But Stack able to rip the hips off the cage, pops his head free. Martinez was not really in danger ever of choking him, was just trying to control posture. And Stack able to get his head free and going to try to come down with some ground and pound. Stack's, Stack's power, look at the lats on him. That's where he's got a lot of the power and his advantage in this fight is the strength that he shows. Good job by Martinez staying mobile off of his back. Not letting himself be a stationary target for ground and pound. And getting a hold of those arms of Stacks as well and locking those down. But again, that burns energy. And as tick, seconds tick off the clock, so does your strength and energy. And they're over in the corner of Stack where you can hear his coaches telling him exactly what to do. Great job. Always nice to have an extra set of eyes on the fight. Great job by Martinez getting up and out of there against a powerful fighter like Stack. See if Martinez goes back to that leg kick, because wow, he threw that as a beautiful technique a couple times early on. Stack again up in the cage. There you see the power and the strength, and that's where he needs to keep this fight. Pounding away with the right hands in this main event. Stack able to get his arms free this time, not allowing Martinez to tie him up. Stack making the most of his main event opportunity yeah, here. Blasting Going to work, away Martinez here. just covering up. Referee's telling the bottom fighter he's got to work. It's almost over. Couple more gotta shots and Stack's going to get a stoppage here. That's there it, it is. Congratulations to the Trials MMA fighter. Sparta 75 main event winner, Michael Stack. You can only do so much with not retaliating. And I don't know that if he was in that much trouble, JR, but he wasn't doing anything. Yep. When you're not fighting back and you're taking 20 shots in a row, they're not gonna let that continue to go. They say just lying there and blocking punches is not an intelligent defense. And an intelligent defense is the criteria that the referee uses to let the fight continue. And yeah, Mr. Stack worked so hard to be in this position tonight. See here on the replay, this is when they were over in the corner of Stack, and there's the, the takedown, just so much technique, and then you put the strength behind it that he possesses, and just a really special athlete that we're getting to watch here. Yeah, Martinez is bleeding from the mouth. I don't know if he bit his tongue or if he cut himself in his mouth, but I'll tell you what, he took, he, he fought for a while, and he was game for a while, but the onslaught was just too much by Stack. He used his power and his strength exactly how he needed to. Yeah, so much pressure from Stack. There's the second takedown. Boy, just that takedown in and of itself is Boom. really something that takes the energy out of you. You know, there's good reason right there for him to be bleeding from the mouth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Shots to the temple as well. All right, let's take it up to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tom Johnson calls a stop to this contest. 
at 2 minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring your winner by TKO, Michael Stack! Yes, indeed. Early in his pro career. Let's get one going for him. Well, congratulations. Michael Stack goes home with the main event victory. Sparta 75, and congratulations, Rebecca and Jeff Cisneros on putting Number together 75. 75 events over the course of 10 years. What a great ride it's been and shall continue to be. For now, I am J.R. Gordon with Todd Romero. Thank you for having joined us cage side. We'll take it over to Bailey Winters after we thank a couple of sponsors for our final post-fight interview of the night. With your main event winner, Michael Stack. How's it feel to get that win tonight? Feels really good. Feels really good. You're one of Sparta's newest stars, up and coming fighter, undefeated. What, what, what do you expect next? You know, anyone you want to fight? You, you've, you're undefeated so far. What can we expect next? Uh, the plan stays the same, you know. Just keep fighting new, tough opponents, keep moving forward, and uh, stay on course to get to the UFC and beyond. So. You typically fight at 155. Tonight you fought at 145. Uh, do you plan to stay at 145? Yeah, you know, uh, for 55, I don't really have to cut wet, uh, cut weight much. Um, this one was definitely a cut. I definitely felt it. It was my first like real cut experience. But uh, the first one's in the bag, so we'll get it down for the next one. You went in there. You looked good. You got a very dominant win over him. Was that how you expected the fight to go? Uh, you know, I'm always looking to get the finish. And I'm always trying to beat my opponent. Um, and you really can't plan a fight. But I just know I got to work hard and I got to fight hard. So that's what I was planning on doing. I know you got a lot of fans here. I'm sure there's some people you want to thank. You know, I want to thank my coaches. Uh, because without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. Team trials. Uh, definitely Coach Schultz saved my butt yesterday. Helping me big time. Him and his family. I love them. I love my friends and family that came. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, you know, and I just want to, I just want to thank the Lord, thank Jesus that I'm here and he's surrounded me with good people, you know, good people that I got in my life and they're going to stay around. So I'm grateful. Thank you, Sparta too. Congratulations on a great performance tonight, Michael. Great job. Thanks for tuning in to Sparta Combat League Strikes tonight, guys. We'll see you next time.